Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of Legends Roadwork with, of course, myself and Wokey. I'm here, too. He is Still here, alive. too. <laughs> so, today, we are going to give three characters their customary ranking on the big boy scale. Only three this time. And then we'll be answering mm -hmm. questions from you guys, the second episode viewers. So Nice. First unit for the big boy scale this week is regular pan, not B pan, sparking blue pan. Mm. The the agility pan to be specific. Yes. The the right. launch pan. Who recently got a slew of buffs. Yeah, she's one of the one of the five buffed because she was least played? Uh yes, least played sparking. There we go. So she got a very much deserved buff. What is it, Zen? Okay, so now her abilities are her main ability draws a special arts card, which is her super attack. Uh, it inflicts all enemies with the attribute downgrade minus one to their arts card draw speed level for 20 seconds, so they draw cards slower. Uh, inflicts all enemies with the downgrade minus 30% to their key recovery for 20 timer counts. And she can do it as early as 10 timer counts into the match. Pretty good. <laughs> Her unique abilities are 40% to her own key restoration speed for 35 seconds and 30% to the damage inflicted by all allies for 25 seconds. So the, she's a pretty good support character too. Yeah, not bad. Her special attack is the Maiden Blast. Does major impact damage and inflicts the enemy with a downgrade of plus 15 to the strike damage received for 15 seconds. And then her green card is the Para Para Dance, and it is 30% to her strike damage inflicted. Pretty good. Also, I believe her Z ability got buffed, and now at 5 stars, it is a 24% buff to female warriors or to Sun Family units. A real good buff on that one. Yes, so now she buffs guys like Future Gohan... Uh, Super Saiyan God, Goku, uh, Kaioken, Goku. The, the incoming Ultimate Gohan. The incoming Ultimate Gohan and the incoming Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And mm -hmm. uh, Super Saiyan Goten. Good units. I'm starting to think that this buff is uh, why they... Oh no, it wouldn't have made sense because they wouldn't have given it twice. I was going to say maybe this is why they didn't give Chi-Chi Sun Family. Oh, but maybe. she would have gotten the buff God regardless, right? That's not how it works. It doesn't double stack. If she was a warrior and Son Goku, she would get both. I believe so, yeah. Alright. Actually, I don't know about that. I don't All know right. if that's 100% true. Uh, I would test it. Comment but and the... tell us if it's true. Yeah, I, I would test it, but the game is in maintenance right now, so I cannot test it. Oh, yeah. Again, no. But we anyway, that's Pan. Plan. She went from not being used at all to pretty much a staple on the female team and a much needed support blanket for the sun family team yeah she's a this is a crazy good buff yeah it's really good the only downside to giving her that sun family buff is that she shares a color mm -hmm. with kaioken oh yeah because uh, it's two blues at that point right and but that's also something. not that bad because green is basically dead because broly exists and just does whatever he wants uh, the one problem is is that if you're running into female warriors, there's a good chance that Chi-Chi will absolutely wreck your day if you're using both. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, because uh, Sun Type Family, Type advantage plus that 80%. He, she melts Kaioken in like two hits. Yeah, so Pan is going to be in a similar situation if... This is, a vet, this is, again, this is one unit out of many. Yeah, yeah. I but, mean... Chi Chi is really good, and she's on basically every female warrior team. But I still don't feel like she's a dominating enough presence to make you not play those characters. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. It's one of those not like situations. Broly, where someone will queue in with like a future team, and you're looking at their list, and it's all future units, and then there's six slots fucking Broly. <laughs> you know, it's not like that. Yeah. yeah. In a similar situation, like if you're going to use the card and you're going to use it, similar to how I always used my, even though Broly is around. Right, right. All right, so what what are your thoughts? What's your verdict on, on Pan? 
So seeing her in action is one of those things that needs to be seen to believe. Seeing, I know specifically seeing that D3 video where he basically took down all three Brolies with one pan because the damage was just so ridiculous at the guy. And it was being done by pan. So it was very similar to the B-pan situation of why does this unit hurt so much? <laughs> right. It doesn't make it doesn't make any sense why this unit hurts so much. And a lot of that is, of course, the it's Pan. And the, the other effect is that she wasn't that good to begin with. So all of a sudden, she's a powerhouse and people are trying to adapt to her. But I think it's a fantastic buff. It was pretty funny because after Female Warriors got their banners, I was 100% convinced that she would not uh, get anything. Anything else. Like, there would be no more Female Warriors support. But I guess they decided, let's squeak one in. The yeah, they're really second, pushing the female warriors pretty hard lately. Yeah, it was. It felt like a task of like, we're not Dokkan, This team is actually very good. Yeah, it's one of the best in the game, no doubt. Yeah, so I give her on the big boy scale. I give her a four, four out of five, simply because five out of five is uh, a B pan situation. Okay, if no she, B costume, had... no five out of five. Yeah, no B costume. If she was in the B costume. I'll be like, yes, this is 100% 5 out of 5. Are you kidding me? This is insane. But without the B costume, I'm like, well, regular pan is good too, but it's no B pan. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a 4 out of 5 as well. Uh, I was going to go with a 3 until I realized that she also buffs the Sun family, which is my personal favorite team, so I'm going to buff her up to a 4 out of 5. Yeah. It's always nice when they do 2. Uh, even though it takes like a long ass time to get to five <laughs> for some units. Yeah, I, I prefer when they do two different uh, categories instead of two different stats. Like, you know how some units will yeah. will buff defense, then they'll also buff attack when you get to five stars? I don't really like that. I like when they do two different groupings. Yeah, I definitely like that uh, a bit more. All right, so four out of five. Pretty good for a GT unit, even if it is pan. Yeah, again, uh, the pan is unaffected by the uh, yeah, the, the GT. Yeah, she's immune to the GT scale. Her and Giru. <laughs> the only ones. Pan and Giru. The only ones. We might make an exception if they, if either one decides to make the Para Para Brothers <laughs> a, a unit. But we'll see when they come I'm in. I'm actually impressed they're not a unit in Dokkan yet. People really did think that the LR in Battlefield was going to be uh, Para Para Brothers. Just to show you what on the level they thought would be worthy of a free <laughs> GTLR. <laughs> good, uh, good times. Power, power, bros. Mm. Anyway, four Too out of five. Power, power. Congratulations, Pan. Second unit is gonna be Zamasu. Ah, uh, this guy. This fucking guy. Yeah. So some people think he's the best character in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't agree, but I do think he's easily top five at worst. Uh, he's really fucking good. So, his main ability restores his own health by 25%, so that's literally a quarter of his life back. He also cancels all of his attribute downgrades and abnormal statuses. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's not just his own health by 25%, it's everybody's health by 25%. Of course it is. And he restores, um, and he gets rid of all of his negative status effects. His unique ability is that every time an enemy finishes a combo... He recovers up to 10% of his own health because he restores 10% of the damage received. He reduces damage by 40% when cover changing. And then uh, only one time when he is killed, he revives himself with 20% of his life. So you can literally die, then come back to life and use his main ability and be at half-life. Yeah, this is a, Zamasu is a is a real motherfucker in terms of <laughs> this is i think i've never i think it's a rare sex exception because um when i'm fighting broly i usually have fun trying to not die to broly zamasu is maybe the most unfun unit in all of legends to fight yeah because you just beat on him and he never dies he never dies it's so unbelievably annoying and now there's another team that is literally a 100% entire gimmick is we don't die. Mm. So then the match takes the entire counter seconds to do anything. It's timer scam the team. Pretty much. And boy, does it suck to fight. Uh, his second main ability is he gets a 30% damage buff to both Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. 
So anybody with Saiyan blood. Really? Yep. 30% more damage to anybody with some Saiyan DNA. All right. That makes sense. Uh, he has fought a bunch of... To be fair, has he really fought, though? Did Zim this Wasn't it mostly the monster who just kind of got his shit kicked in? Yeah, that's pretty black, much what actually? he... I mean, that's pretty pretty factual for Legends, too. <clears throat> you always throw him into Rising Rush yeah, and stuff actually. just to get fucked up and then revive. Yeah, his damage <laughs> is not the, the thing. His super attack is he inflicts the enemy with the attribute downgrade of plus 20 to all damage received. And since it's a debuff on the enemy, not a buff to Zamasu... If you tag, whoever you tag to is going to do 20% more damage. And it also causes bleed. Nice. Wow. Just an extra just fuck you at that point. Yep, just fuck you, bleed a little bit. And then uh, he does 15% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts when he uses a green card. And it also happens to inflict all enemies with the attribute downgrade of plus 10% to slicing damage received. Which I assume is just him and Trunks right now. I think so, for the time being. Mm -hmm. Goku Black will probably get it. Um, Tapion will probably have it. But Slice Damage is certainly not <laughs> yeah, going look to be Yeah, look, look forward to Tapion coming to <laughs> Legends soon. Yeah. <laughs> to, a, to a game near you, Tapion on the way. Tapion before Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta the Myth. The, the myth, the unit that technically does exist and also does not. Uh, and then his Z ability, when you get him to 5 stars, is he gives 31% to both future and regeneration tag strike attack. It's a lot. Oof. So yeah, that boy is pretty fucking good. He's pretty fucking he is good. Definitely, 100% a good dude. But where does he fit on the big boy scale is the question. That is the monster. question. I almost want to penalize him just for being a cunt. But I feel so, like we shouldn't. So penalize isn't... The way, obviously, we're not going to give him an automatic down in the same way as GT. But I do feel like there is a certain level of how... It's, it's funny because it's something that I wouldn't put against Broly. Because Broly, at least when he's beating you down, it's quick. When Zamasu, when you're losing to Zamasu, it is a slow death. Yeah. It is the, it is the absolute fucking worst. It is nails on the chalkboard. Like I can't believe I'm. You forfeit because you're like I just don't want to play you anymore. It's yeah. literally beating you down by spirit. <laughs> it's destroying your soul. He's destroying your soul, and a lot of that is the fact that he is so good and then the other problem is is that there's no real the only real counter to regen is super saiyan 3 goku right uh yeah mm -hmm. so there's one unit in the entire world that can actually legitimately counter the bullshit that he does <laughs> and so if you don't have him to stop the bullshit then the bullshit runs free at least with broly you know in your mind like if i have at least the physical type, maybe there's a chance of something happening. If I play better, there's a way for him to be shitty. If the la if the game is not lagging, then the Broly has a worse chance of actually doing anything. If yeah, I plus, rising I rush mean, the Broly, every single unit in the friggin' game at this point feels like they have extra damage against Saiyans. Yes. You can rising rush Broly and he'll die if you do a good <laughs> rising rush. That's Zamasu true. will not die. <laughs> Zamasu will, it will do half of him. his life effectively. That's all it'll do. And then, God forbid, he gets tagged in into a rising rush, and then at that point, you don't even know if you're actually going to legit kill the fucker. Yeah, it might not even pop his one revive. Yeah, so... I don't know. This guy is, like, on a player, like, fighting, I think, like, I'm kind of in the agreement that he is definitely one of the best, because literally, like, how the fuck do you counter him? Other than you wait a very long time to beat him, or you have Super Saiyan 3 Goku... And then it, if you do start losing, again, the match takes forever. So because he's literally impacting my enjoyment of Legends, <laughs> I'm going to have to give him a 3 out of 5. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I think I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5 because in terms of what he brings to the table in his kit, he is yeah. a 5 out of 5, but God, I fucking hate him. So. I hate, like, it's, it's really funny. It was the first unit I can look at and just go straight up. I... I hate everything about this guy. 
Not because they made him too good, but also maybe because there's just so little counters to anything. It's almost as if, like, they accidentally released a a plague-spreading virus, (laughs) and it's slowly starting to catch on because everyone's distracted by the big dumbass Broly. Not realizing that we have already lost the germ- dramatic warfare that is Masu. <laughs> yeah, everyone's really, really like freaked out by how good Broly is, and everyone thinks that he's just this undefeatable god that's ruining the game. And then you fight Zamasu one time, and you realize that it could always be worse. It could always be worse. At least it you die quick to Broly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I Thank think God so. For with small the... favors. Yes. So with the three and a four, that's a three out of five, big boy, for him. So three point five out of five. Yeah. This is very good. That that's good a very respectable for score for a unit that everybody hates. Yes. If you use him, I hate you. But also, <laughs> if you run him, have fun. Yeah, I I respect it, but also God. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, also, if I had Zamasu, I'd probably be running him on my future team, but also, fuck you, I don't have Zamasu. (laughs) I respect that. All right, so the last unit for the big boy scale for today is going to be Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa. Oh, this one. Yes, she's the only Universe 6 unit we haven't done yet, because we did Kale and Kaba last week. Man. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's yeah. the, just like the PvP rankings would tell you, she's the last one on <laughs> the, the list. The last one on the list. Uh, so her main ability uh, restores her own key by a flat 50, so you can use it and then keep using cards. Uh, and then it also gives a 40% buff to her strike damage inflicted for 15 seconds and cancels all of her attribute downgrades. So it doesn't get rid of stuff like poison or bleed but it does get rid of uh, any attack or defense debuffs. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, her innate passives are she gets a 40% strike damage buff against all Saiyans. Not hybrids, just regular Saiyans. Uh, and then oh. if she is on the battlefield, whenever the enemy switches characters, she gets 30 key back and gets 15% to her strike damage for 10 seconds per female warrior allies on the team. So if she has two female warriors with her, she's getting 30% strike when they tag. Makes it a real bitch to tag into her. Uh, 100%, I would say. If you are not, uh, if you don't have a physical on the ready, then prepare to have that unit die if you switch too early. Yep, she will rip you apart. Uh, her special attack inflicts the enemy with the attribute downgrade of 20% to strike damage received. So if she hits you with her super, you're going to take even more strike damage. And then her green card is the back tingle, which is funny. And it does it 20% is to it... strike damage received, so or to strike damage inflicted. So she is just a they strike do a close up, up on her, on her machine. Yeah, they do, they do a close-up of her back every time you use it, which is hilarious. Yeah, with it doing the animation that it did in the anime of it tingling, it's really funny. It is hilarious how they were like, nah, fuck all the people who are complaining about fuck this. Y'all. <laughs> this, is how, this is how this unit gets stronger. It's really funny. And then her Z ability uh, is a 31% boost to the strike attack of female warriors or Universe 6 characters at 5 stars. Hmm. Which is good. Because... It is good. Uh, actually, I think the one thing that I said, if you get into that far, that's good. The only problem is is that once the actual Universe 6 dudes start coming out, if you don't have them at 5, then you start to run into some problems. Similar to how Mai is a future and female warrior, but only at 5. But if right. you don't have her at 5, then she just is stuck with future on a female team for a bit. Right. Alright, so what what do you think of Khalifla and her, her place in the world? And her place in the world. Um, well, she's one of those units who I love using, and it's also one of those units that uh, I constantly underestimate the second I start fighting her. The The main problem with her is that if the enemy uses her, and they use her at the start, and you have... And this is specific to me, someone like me, who's running a female um, warriors unit who has Chi-Chi and... Uh, Mai in it, if you start with Chi-Chi and Mai, or if you, even if you don't start with the physical unit, uh, you've kind of lost the beginning of the game. Because if you switch out 
she's already going to do way more damage. So you can't let her hit you. So, But if she hits you, it's kind of game over because now she's going to start doing a lot of bullshit at you. <laughs> and she hits so goddamn hard that if... It's one of those characters who if like... She's very simple in design, but the second she starts doing her stuff, it's like, well, I have no real way of getting out of this unless I play smart from here, here on out. Thankfully, she's kind of a, a glass cannon. She goes down real easy, which yeah, is funny to say. Fragile. Um, but yeah, she's one of those. It's funny because when I when that banner came out, she was definitely the unit I wanted most. But in terms of uh, utility, she has the most basic and simple of it. But I don't think that means that she's the worst of them either. I do think that a good Khalifa basically kills one unit and two strike cards. Yeah, she she's weird because uh, yeah, she's the most like straightforward, and so yeah. there's not a whole lot of fancy stuff you can do with her like Kale or Kava, who have a lot of different things going for them. But I think people will look at that and say that it's a negative off the top of the like off the bat, which I don't think is the case. Uh, Khalifa is a really snowbally unit. Um, she's not super great without all of her buffs and stuff. But the fact of the matter is, is once she gets started, you have to be really careful. Because if you fuck up your cover tag, she's going to destroy the person you tag to. Yes. But if you don't tag, 100%. she might very well kill the person that she's hitting. You you really have to kind of play extra careful when she's on the screen. Um, I will say that feel... her secondary ability for Universe 6 doesn't matter at all pretty much right now. Mm-hmm. Um, if there's only like... I mean, I guess there's Frost, but who the fuck is using Frost? Yeah, uh, the people who need Extreme Frost. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, so it's mostly a female warrior thing, but I do, in my opinion, I think she is a staple on female warriors. Um, I've seen some that don't bring her, but I don't know yeah. why you wouldn't, unless you just don't have her. Um... Oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know oh. why you wouldn't bring her on Female Warriors unless you just straight up didn't have her. Um, she works... Yeah, there's, not, there's not a lot of other... It's Pan. Pan is the only other intelligent um, female warrior that you would put on there. Well, the, Or so that new Mai. Like... That new Mai, I think, is pretty good, isn't she? Oh, yeah, she's actually very good. But, but nobody you know, has her. She's the... EX, so... I have her. Do you? Uh, How do you keep getting all the good EXs? Yeah. Uh, because I'm good. Actually, that's not true. The reason <laughs> is that <laughs> I just get I, Legends is I'm at the starting point at Legends, so my luck is dumb. Ah, that is usually how it happens. Yeah, it'll eventually come back to where um, I'm not going to be able to pull the cards I want anymore. But until that point, I'm going to just enjoy it, <laughs> <laughs> ride it out while you can. Exactly. It's starting to happen. I've already pulled a uh, cell enough times to make them five. Yeah, that's fair. Sells a piece of shit. So Super Vegeta. Fuck that banner. Fuck that banner. Uh, but yeah, and also, like, Universe 6 not being good right now doesn't mean it never will be. So part of that is that she'll no, have future no. value. Like, it's hard to make a 31% buff to anything bad, because that's just so much. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, that's a future team that will be made eventually. Like similar to like female warriors, like it's it, that's the starting point of it, but it's not going to reach it there until you actually start getting other dudes like I don't know, Hit and what is it, uh, Mag- Magneto and Batoma? Oh, fucking Winnie- Botamo and Magetta. There you go, Botama and Magetta. They'll they're the other dudes from Universe Six. So. <laughs> That's who you get, is you get Winnie the Pooh and that robot that vomits lava. Oh, and, and the fusion, of course, like completely, you know, Oh, yes, the that's invincible be... Boda Magetta, yes. And that's not who I meant, and you know it. <laughs> you know for a fact that's not who I meant. <laughs> yeah, eventually we'll get Kefla. Um, they seem to be kind of holding off on fusions for the most part. I think uh-huh. I think still the only ones we have are Gogeta and Gotenks. Is that right? Yes, yes that is correct. Because we still don't have. We don't have. We don't have. Uh, uh, was it Vegito? A lot of people thought we would have Vegito by now, right? Yes. But to be fair, they also, haven't. 
a lot of people are very upset that uh, we don't have blue Gogeta yet. That's that's true. Also, that we don't have him. Even though, but that's more of the thing is that he's already in the game technically. So it's one of those things of like he's here. Uh, the blue but... one is not. I don't think is he. I, th I thought that uh, the um, regular Gogeta turns into blue Gogeta in that event. He turns into Super Saiyan. Oh, he goes Super Saiyan? He doesn't go Super Saiyan Blue? I could have swore in the in the Broly event that uh, the, the harder one, he started off as normal, and then he went into um, uh, oh, Super in Saiyan. Oh, like, in like the Scream mode or whatever? I haven't done that one, so maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. No, you're probably right. Maybe he doesn't go blue yet, but he's in there somewhere. Yeah, he's he's in they... there fucking around. We know he exists. Yeah. It's just a matter of when it's gonna happen. Yeah, and I assume whatever when they do it, they're gonna do it. Like, they have such a weird release schedule of guys. Oh yeah, so it I looks still... like the scream difficulty is uh, Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta, so it is not blue Vegeta. Mm, okay. Okay. So, the the thing that I was like... Also, the fact that, it, that... Maybe I was the only one bothered by it because everyone else was too busy going crazy over Ultimate Gohan. Really weird when he was fighting Evil Boo. I don't like it when they... Uh, this is something that Dokkan did as well, where they do two units that are supposed to be facing off to each other that are supposed to have history when they don't. Uh, the biggest example, of course, is the fact that Super Saiyan Rose and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito constantly get put together. Yeah, uh, like I don't they really never... get that. They they make it. They even make the arts like opposite of one another. Yes, and I'm like they they don't fight. I don't know what the who the they fuck they never you think even met. Doing. Did they they watch a different episode of Super? <laughs> Rose no Zach. longer existed by the time Vegito Blue came out. <laughs> like, yeah, and I, and then the only reason they said they hold off, they held off on Zach was so they could do a Zach and. Uh, giant's fucking sword trunks. The yeah. spirit sword. Which at least that was a fight that made sense. But anyway, we're we're yeah. way off topic now. Uh, Khalifa, yeah, we are at this point. How do you rank her? Yeah, Khalifa. Uh, I I think I'm gonna give her a four out of five. I like her a lot, but I think that uh, her full potential might not really come out until we get universe six units yeah i kind of agree especially with uh, uh kefla coming eventually um i feel kind of the same way i will say uh i like her art i like the background of it i also like the fact that for some reason they decided that the sparking would not have the giant uh close-up view that the extreme has Yes. <laughs> Which is really funny. Again, as we mentioned in the previous episode, and I'll continue to keep mentioning, check out Extreme Colors <laughs> uh, uh photo. It is hilarious at how big it is. Just look yeah, at it's it. It's extremely it, zoomed in. It is crazy zoomed in. And like with such detail, well, like I don't even remember her having this much detail in the episode she debuted in, <laughs> where this uh, pose was from. So I see what you're doing, Legends trying to make the AXs harder to get <laughs> compared to everything else. <laughs> For good slick. reason. For good reason. But yeah, I'm, I'm in the same agreement. Four out of five. She's definitely one of those units who, um, in Female Warriors, I like having because I don't use her as much because I'm all about uh, the B gang. But when I do need her, when the enemy is stupid enough to bring a bunch of greens, then I'm just like, well, obviously you're fucked. Here you go. <laughs> have a have a call, Libra. <laughs> learn right. from your mistakes right yeah yeah i'm with you on yeah, that four out of five all right so she gets a a resounding four out of five yeah all right and so to, to sum it up which is so weird to think about pan is a five out of five sabasu is a three out of five three point five out of five and khalifa is a four out of five i think pan got a four out of five didn't you Oh, that's right. She did. My bad. She wasn't yeah. a B. So it's four, I, I, again, four, I got distracted by the B. Four. I got distracted by the B part of Pan. I yeah, had Pan, B and Pan I assumed would have that we been were talking five out of five, but she was not up she on was the list B. today. No, no, that's fair. All Ooh, right. So moving good, into re viewer questions, we have looks like thirteen. I will skip any that are too ludicrous. But so Ooh. the first one is from Gaming with Talon. Gaming Talon on Twitter. Good guy. Looking oh, up. Shit. 
Uh, he says, his, should uh, the stamina bar videos. be changed? Uh, that's a big ass yes. I yeah, believe. that's a fat <laughs> yes. Um, but I, I don't know if the issue is the stamina bar as much as it is like, why are you making events cost four stamina? <laughs> So that that's the kind of thing where um, I, I didn't think it was a problem when it was two and one. I was like, this is kind of annoying. But if they give enough skip tickets and stuff like that, and I skip a bunch of it, and it's like, well, I don't really even play that much. That's why I'm that's why I'm so frustrated by the stamina amount is that I'm skip ticking everything away. So the second my stamina my stamina goes away in one second, so then I have this deal of like I didn't even get anything out of that stamina which is not the case. But if they're going to start introducing events that are like fucking four out of five, it's like when Dokkan was like, yeah, here's 60 stamina for this one event. And it's like, fuck you. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Dokkan events are 50 stamina and you have 70. So have fun. And then you'll have and, enough to play again tomorrow morning. And then you're supposed to grind shit out of it. That's the part where it sucks. It's like, if you're going to make it that much, don't make it grindable. Yeah. Don't. Or not just grindable, but grind mandatory. Yeah, and in Legends it works, it sucks even more, because if it's like, if you need to finish the missions, every single cost is a 4 out of 5. And if you lose, you've just wasted 4 stamina, and this is something that I feel more gotchas can get. This is the only thing I think they can take from Dragalia, is that if you lose events, then you don't lose stamina. It's mad annoying when you're like, I can't, I can't win this fight, I'm fucked, but also I wasted this much stamina that I'm never going to get back because like this is it i feel like it'd be better if there was a system of like okay if you lose then or you give up you get to keep the stamina it's no big deal i think that would help a lot especially with uh if they're going to keep doing events like the broly that is a four uh four cost stamina yeah yeah I agree. and then and then in general just increase it a little bit that or give like every day you get a certain amount of refills and also get rid of that. Uh, apparently, the cost gets up with every time you refill, which I've never read into, which shows how much I've uh, every, refilled. Every two refills with gems, it costs more. There you go. That's why I never run into it. Uh, and then like, you're capped on how many times you can do that also, which sucks. Um, but also, you don't yeah, really want to be doing that suck. either, so it's like, you know. But uh, I, I feel like if they're not going to change the stamina bar then you need to be able to log in every day and get a couple of those refill tickets, you know? They shouldn't yeah. be as rare as they are. Um, Definitely. And there, there's some events that give you it, but then in those events you're grinding out stuff, so you automatically use them. So I would want a daily, like, here you go. Even if it's something like complete this event to get these men, this many stamina things, I'll, it's fine. Like, if you're going to do it like that, if you don't want people just hoarding it and they have to, like, legitimately play the game, you can play it that way. But do something. Something has to change with that stamina stuff. It's very, uh, it's one of the big glaring flaws in Legends, I would say. Especially right. if they're going to start moving into having higher cost uh, events. Yeah, that's, that's fair. So, yes, or they change the system around it is our answer. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the question. I like that, but when we both started um, taking questions, our first our first legit questions came from um, mine uh, over in Dokkan. It was Nanogenics, and over here it's Talon. Yeah, <laughs> I like that too. Uh, second totally question by accident. is from Dan at uh, Deus Nuditate, I think is how you pronounce that. I don't know. He says, okay. what do you think the plan is for the Legends' first anniversary? Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Yeah, that's kind of what I think, too. I feel like it's the only reason they're holding him back for this long, because it's kind of coming up, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming pretty close, I would say. I mean, Google uh, what that gonna, is. I expect it to be exactly like Dokkan, so right before um, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta comes out, they're going to release a Rayleigh, so I'll waste all my stuff, just like I did at Dokkan when they released a Rayleigh, and then the next day they released Super... What was it? Super Vegeta? Super Vegito? Super uh, yes. Apparently, it's the summer. Apparently, the summer is the rough estimate. So you, I would say, yeah. If it, I really do, it does a real feel. It really does feel Super Saiyan Gogeta is the uh, the thing. If they're not going to release them on what is it Saiyan Day, which is usually something they do over there. At least Dokkan does something on Saiyan Day. I don't know if Legends ever did. 
But yeah, uh, if they don't release him then, then I would say expect him at the first year. Yeah, that that's my yeah. thought too. Uh, unless they drop, you know, Super Broly Part Three just randomly. And then if they're gonna do the Dokkan shitty thing, expect Super Saiyan uh, Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta to drop the exact same time. <laughs> Very possible. Two different two different banners though. Very possible. Um, but yeah, that's really all I got. I. I I would need to see one anniversary first before I could really get a good handle on what I thought future ones would be like. Because um, you can never tell. Some games don't do shit for their anniversary. Like Fire Emblem Heroes, I think, was pretty much just like you get a random unit and then that's about it. Go fuck yourself, you know? Yeah. Uh, Legends events are pretty generous, so, uh, though, so I think there'll be a lot to do. Yeah. I, f- I feel like Legends will be generous simply because Dokkan is generous during its uh, year anniversary. Dokkan is so generous during its years that people forget that Dokkan has been shitty the rest of the entire year. That's true. So I feel like Legends is going to do something very similar where they're going to be so good that people will forget about the shitty parts. And then the second the year is over, it's like, oh, God damn it. Here's the parts I don't like coming back, which is the <laughs> Dokkan effect. Having to play for the rest of the year is the part that sucks. Yeah, definitely. Yep, definitely. Yeah. All right, so next damn. question is from Mr. Eat Your Booty. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. He says, will we see a discount Sobble banner? And the answer is absolutely fucking not. What is a Sobble banner? Sobble, oh, Sobble. is the oh. new water starter Pokemon. Okay, so this entire when you said Sable, I thought his name was Sable, like as if he was constantly sobbing. That's that what because I. Okay, it is. It is Sable. S O B B L E. Okay, I thought you said Sable, so I was like, "Who the fuck is Sable?" <laughs> nope. But no, it's. It is Sable. My bad. I'm very tired from work. <laughs> I'm still recovering from work, so. And the answer is absolutely also, yeah. not because if you aren't willing to pay full price for Sable, then you don't deserve to have him because he's that important. Exactly. The full price, which is $60 coming, uh, when is it, end of this year? Holiday this year. Holiday this year. Coming holiday this year. Otherwise, we riot. Otherwise, expect riot in the streets <laughs> if Nintendo says delayed into 2020. If Nintendo withholds Sobble from me for even one day, then that's not acceptable. The Sobble fans will enter the street running the streets uh, blue with their tears, because that's what <laughs> Sobble would do. Absolutely. Uh, all right, so the next uh, question is from Marco at Marco96. He Paolo. says, what characters do you anticipate the most? Uh, uh, Aureli is the only reason I started up Legends again. <laughs> so if Dokkan can release Aureli, then so can Legends. And I expect uh, the Legends community to be as shitty about it as the, the Dokkan is when Aureli was released. <laughs> yeah, so, man, they were pissed. Yeah, they were, they're still pissed, by the way. There's still people going like, Ugh, I can't believe it's not Roshi. I'm like, fuck you guys. <laughs> Expect Roshi to be pullable later. But today, a Rayleigh wins. That's fair. Um, uh, I... Huh. That's tough. Uh, Super Saiyan Rosé is up there for me. I really want him. Uh, I really want some more Super Saiyan modes, like modes for Shallot. I want, I want him to get some more attention. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I guess it's Super Saiyan Rosé. Uh, I'm not a huge fusion guy, so like Vegito is cool, Gogeta's cool, but like I prefer the non-fused characters more. I'll also say that if I'm going to include another one, I would say Kefla for me. Just okay. simply because I like I like her design of it. So I'm like, yeah. Sure. Yeah, she is basically the best parts of Kefla, or of, of uh, Khalifa and Kale's design put together. Yeah, basically, it's the best parts of both girls put into one thing, and I'm like, this is great. This is nothing like uh, <laughs> Vegeta and Goku, which is all the parts of Goku with some of Vegeta's cockiness <laughs> into one dude. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Those all are right, the answers. So let's like see. The next so. question oh. is from Bra at Bra21 Bra. Vine31. <laughs> and he says, Are Damn, there any bro. tags that you want to see in the future? Oh, man. Hmm. So I guess character tags um, that are not in the game yet. I, I'm going to take this one because I have been having a lot of fun with it in Dokkan, and I feel like it was completely accidental, but I would love a tag that was like specifically for people who 
went looking for the Dragon Balls, so Seekers of the Dragon Balls Part 2, just because, like, um, I don't know why, but that team is, like, s silly, stupid, fun, and Dokkan, so I like the idea of an entire team based around the fact that, like, at one point, our only common <laughs> degree is that we wanted the Dragon Balls. <laughs> so... And then, Do and then Legends can also include weird units. They can include uh, what Dokkan is too afraid to do, which is include Oolong Transformation. So <laughs> That's true. It can, can be done. You can have Oolong in the big robot, in the big robot costume, and then his ultimate attack is he turns into the rocket, and then you <laughs> blow him up. I will say, I think also the Oolong unit does do that in Dokkan, but I would like it way better if it was like that in Legends. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, for me, most of the character tags that I would look forward to are already in the game. Um, I want a tournament of power tag just because I think the units that would come from that are pretty cool. Like, I like Jiren. I, I like Topo. I like Android Justice 17 and his Park Pop. Ranger outfit. Ribrian coming soon. Yeah, look forward huh. to Ribrian. Yeah, I guess for me that, that would be tournament of power. Look forward to my gifts of Ribrian when I think Ribrian is coming soon. <laughs> to hint. <laughs> I'm just going to keep dropping that that gif of Giant Kirby crashing down whenever it feels like there's a new Legends banner coming in. <laughs> so Just in case that just this time case, it's Ribrian. You're bound to be should... right eventually. Yeah, I'm like, mm, Legends? That's uh, that's how I assume all those uh, GIF <laughs> guesses go. Is that someone goes hmm question mark <laughs> legends and then you interpret the GIF. Uh oh, so basically the donut thing, the donut meme. Yeah, that's what I assume. I actually don't know anything because again, I'm in terms of legend community wise, it's uh it's a uh, U and it's D free, and that's my kind of my gateway into it. Okay, I'll teach, I you, the, I'll teach you the donut meme one day. It's pretty. It's pretty quality. One way. Yeah, and, and Rhyme too, I'll say now. Uh, I look at some of Rhyme's legend stuff as well now. Slowly going up in the world, looking at all this footage, trying to figure out a way to beat you. <laughs> but. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the yeah, next was... question is from DB Boy at DB Boy 1. He says, mm -hmm. When do you think we'll get a guaranteed sparking feature? And I assume that he means uh, per multi, not the tickets. Um, the first year. So you how do you one up? They'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Like, like how do you? They uh, Legends already has step up banners, which, as far as I'm concerned, is like eventually you'll get a sparking you want. Eventually, especially with my like small look into it. So if they already have step ups, I could see them doing a thing of like during the first year anniversary, you'll have guaranteed sparkings. The only problem is that the guaranteed sparking would have to be a featured unit. And at that point, all that would happen is that you would get angry at the fact that you did not pull. It's similar to the Dokkan thing of like my guaranteed SSR is not what I wanted. Here's the, the, here's the bad and good thing about giving a person a bone is that it just makes you angrier. Like, yeah. The amount of times that Dokkan's guaranteed SSR may as well have just been an SR or SR, too high. The amount of times I've been pity broken in Dra Dragalia and got in a worm print that was also counted as a 5, way too much. Like, the more you try and help, it's a very nice gesture, but at the end of the day, you're still fucking me over. <laughs> like, yeah, just, it, no, it, just because... And it, it, it hurts even more because it feels like that was supposed to be your time to get something great. And you yeah. got fucked over by and, it, so now you lost your one opportunity. Yeah, and I'll say I'll I'll put this across the board. No gotcha has ever done a guaranteed SSR correctly. The way that it's like, the, I've never felt like I. The only feeling you can get from a guaranteed SSR is, all right, not bad. The only time you feel happy, that's the one percent, and then every other time it's like, ah, oh, goddamn it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I will say. Um, Opera Omnia did it right. Okay. It's literally, uh, you just get every multi, you're just guaranteed a five star card. And it has a 90% chance to be one from the featured banner pool. So it's not just like garbage right. trash. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not, I had not played it. So again, of the ones I've played, not a single one has ever made me feel. 
amazing. The only time it did feel amazing was when um, Dokkan decided not to give me a Bojack from my step up summons. <laughs> so that was great. All right, fair enough. But yeah, but yeah, yeah there you go. I I feel first year if it's gonna happen, it, but it won't be a thing that will be in every banner. Yeah, I I think the way they do sparkings, they would have to make a whole new system for guaranteed sparking, and I don't see that yeah. happening. And it would be like all, only Pycons. That's all guaranteed EXs, I think, would would probably happen, but sparkings, I don't know. They should actually do guaranteed EXs because there's a lot of good EXs. Yeah, they're really good. And they're they're hard to get to level up unless they're one of the ones that's like, oh, here you go, train a bunch in this one stage. Yeah, that's the only time. Uh, we're gonna skip the next one because it more we more or less already answered it, but it it is uh, a. <laughs> from Lavcor at Vexy Lancor. And he says, when is Gogeta Blue coming and how much will he shaft me? We both already said we think it's the one-year anniversary. And uh, probably a lot. In, ter- probably in terms of the shaft, shaft thing, yeah. Here's the thing. The shaft comes regardless. The ones that get lucky now, all it means is that it's a detriment of, like, eventually you're going to get this shaft, just not now. Right. It's like the Sword of Damocles. The Sword of... Shaftocles hanging over my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then, so let's see, the next one is from Matt at Master M. He says, who are the your top master. three JoJo's? Uh, top three JoJo's. Um, do you already have a go-to answer for this one? I need to think about it a little more. Uh, I think for me it would be... Giorno, um, Joseph, and Jotaro. Oh. So it was Giorno, Joseph, no, not Joseph. No, yeah. sorry, say it again. Giorno, uh, Joseph, and Jotaro. Okay. Um, let me see. For me, it would probably be... Um, This is a very tough one. I would say it would it'd definitely be Joseph at number one, and then it would be Josuke, and then the final one would probably be, if I'm being 100% honest, the last one is Jonathan. Okay. Those, I respect those are that. My three. I'm, again, I'm one of those people who always say uh, I really like part one and understand that there's a lot of problems with part one. Um, that's if there's the number one thing that will get people to stop watching JoJo, it will be part one of JoJo, but that doesn't stop me from loving part one I, of JoJo. I will say, after I watched the rest of JoJo and went back to part one, mm-hmm. um, I, I have a, a much higher appreciation for it than I did before. Yeah, it's one of those things of, like, there's a lot of things I just really like about it, and let's assume that the people here, um haven't seen jojo i don't want to spoil anything for it but i just have i just really like the self-containedness of what is i really do think that as a, the only other ending i like more than any other ending part of jojo is part six because i think the ending part of part six is a hilarious kind of fuck you to everything <laughs> but the ending of part one is an actually very beautiful ending i think yes, it's part no, one is, has a, a very good ending yes and uh, if there was a second ending I really liked, it would be um, it would be part six's ending, just because of how uh, <laughs> not so but so it is. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Mm-hmm. The next one is Spider Oscars at L Ricardin Nine. He says, "What hopes do you have for the future of Legends, other than adding characters that you like?" Uh, Future of Legends, let's see. Um, apparently they're going to be adding a Battle Royale mode, so that means that we're prepared to have 100 Gokus drop down into the Tournament of Power stage and we all fight <laughs> each other. We all fight. Uh, if that was an honest answer, though, I would really like a Royal Rumble mode in um, Legends. So it would be 30 people. It would be like a Royal Rumble in the wrestling sense. 30 people would have to match up. You get a random number assigned. And then, literally, it'd be like pure mayhem. You'd have to watch to see who would be the first one to get uh, to win the Royal Rumble. 
<laughs> and then if you win the Royal Rumble, then you get like I don't know a guaranteed sparking ticket or something. So this to give something to give a reason as to why you would want to sit down and watch for it. But I would love it if there was like thirty people on the line, and then you went in and you were like, oh fuck, I got number one. So now I have to beat all the people in a row <laughs> to actually get to the top spot of everything and more people would drop in as more time went by. It would be a logistic nightmare because in my version of it, you would have to figure out a way to make more than one person be able to fit on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit of a mess, but it would be fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For me, I, so I would have it so that I think um, faints too. Good. Oh, yeah. Faints got to go. That's the big thing for me. Yeah. The, the future of legends. I want a legends that doesn't have faint in it. Oh yes. That'd be very nice. Uh, so the next question, we might uh, we might have to make this a segment in a future episode because he's asking for help with his team. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe once per episode we'll talk about a team, but we'll have to skip that one for right now because that would be too difficult to set up. Too much. Too much on short notice. I'm also not in the smartest headspace right now. You don't get <laughs> smart, Wookie, <Fair. laughs> right now. So it looks like the next one is from God Tengu of Mount Karama, Ushiwakamaru. Wow. Yeah, it's a serious title. At his at though is Baby Maxer too. <laughs> <laughs> I love the at names. <laughs> they uh, really hide a great name. Oh man! And his question is, what character, no matter how meta or broken he she would be, would you never use because you dislike the character that much? I'm gonna beat the drum once more time. I'm gonna say really 100. percent No, no, that's that's the opposite. He's saying that what character do you hate so much you would never use no matter what? Oh, original Broly. So the blue buff Broly, you would rather just never touch him? No. When all those people are like, oh, when they're gonna buff blue Broly, I'm just like, fuck Broly. You have new Broly. That's my feeling on it, and I absolutely hate uh, original Broly. I have original blue blur Broly, and I was like, thank God they didn't waste a fucking buff on this asshole. Then he would actually be good, and I'd have to use him. But even then, I probably would not use him, because I don't like him. Okay. And I think I've gone on record as how much I don't like him. If there was a second unit, it'd probably be Baby, if they added Baby to Legends. Okay, that's fair. Mine is probably Super 17. Oh, that's a really good one. Yeah, Super, Super 17, 17 is a... I, you know what? Super 17 is the one I forget a bunch just because it's like, who would want to add Cro Magnum 17? There's only <laughs> one good Cro Magnum 17, and it's the one from the Step Up to the Grand Tour contest winner video. <laughs> That's so good. That's my favorite video on the internet. It is fantastic. Uh, fans of 2B Release now know it as that song I play every single time we talk about GT. <laughs> But yeah, the, oh, God, so that's good. a good that's a good one. It doesn't matter how good Super Seventeen is. I just would not want to use them either. All right, so the last uh, last one is from Jahori at Spidey Man Fan Twenty Four. Oh. He says, "What is your favorite card art in Legends?" Um, define favorite. The one that By you what? like the most. That EX Caliph was really good. You should check out. <laughs> you should check out her art. Um, if, if if not her, then it would probably be. Um, I really do love how silly B Pan's one is. It's just so many fucking butterflies that when you tap it in, think you get a big ass picture of a uh, Pan interacting with a space bee. <laughs> And then also Bulma's, which is just a, uh, uh, I like the the look of it, the weird, like, it, they basically really did recreate that cover from the first Dragon Ball volume. But like, yeah, yeah. Legends Bulma's art style. Which, it's very, yeah. it's got that very OG Dragon Ball feel to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I feel like those are my, uh, oh, Super Saiyan God Goku's. That, uh-huh, that yeah, that's, that's probably what mine is going to be. Yeah, Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. So that, he is kind of a beast. He looks so yes. good. Yes, in terms of pure amazing artness, Super Saiyan God Goku's art is what made me start thinking I may as well start my Aureli hunt now and get a unit I want with kick-ass art. 
And then in terms of the other ones, it's uh, B-Pan and EX Khalifa. Check it out. I'm just slowly moving the EX Khalifa art across the screen right now. <laughs> Are you? Okay, yeah. good. Just so everyone can see it. Everyone's all perfect. over the place. How it many? is good art. You should check it out on your phone. It's even greater. It feels like <laughs> when you open the wrong tab of Aminol's retweets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so Super Saiyan God what? for me, but because Wokey already said that one, I will pick another one also. Um, I actually really like, uh, fuck, what's his, what do you call him? Instant Transmission Goku. Just like the generic looking Kamehameha pose. But I really like his for some reason, I don't oh. know why. It's a classic pose. It's the, I, I, that art was ruined for me because of fucking Dokkan constantly giving me in his SR form. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a great <laughs> art. Fair. But yeah, I, I like that pose a lot, and I really like um, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa's for similar reasons. Say it again? I also really like Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa for similar reasons to EX Khalifa. Okay, yeah. <laughs> for, for, a, for a slightly less <laughs> closed-in look version of... <laughs> a more properly, yeah, uh, a properly scaled look. Yeah, <laughs> more properly scaled look. That's fair. <laughs> that art is also very good. It is quite good. <clears throat> and then the last question is just another <clears throat> and... Sobble question. Why is Sobble not in Legends? Uh, that's because he's a Pokemon. It's true. And also, don't count it out yet. First year's coming soon. That's true. Wait for the first year, then we'll talk about who is and isn't in Legends. Exactly. It's He's going to be coming in with um, the other uh, crossover. It's going to be a Smash Brothers crossover fighter, but only with Pokemon, so it's going to be Sobble, who is not in Smash Brothers, and it'll be Incineroar and Greninja. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. The Lucha Pikachu will be the EX, so she will be very hard to get. Alright, so there's there's our questions. Uh, All right. well, thanks everybody for Also, watching. in terms of also, in terms of art, I should mention in terms of worst art, it's still again the uh, the, the 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 kale Snoopy <laughs> Snoopy art. That one's oh, also bad. Oh, oh, Snoopy background kale. Yeah, Snoopy background kale. Worst art in all of Legends. All right, that's fair. That's fair. All right, that's. I just wanted to bring that up too. <laughs> now everybody knows, Snoopy kale yeah. sucks. Yeah, Snoopy Snoopy kale sucks. Close in Khalifa, amazing. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, Thank you for watching. I hope we educated you on good card art choices. Yeah, I hope that that's the only thing people remember this by. <laughs> uh, but we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.